Q in charge listeners. Hello again and welcome to today's topic. The real reason Tesla is letting rival car companies use its electric vehicle charging stations. So, why is Tesla opening its supercharger stations to other automakers? Is it a game changer? Any Mustang McKee or Chevy Bolt owner who's ever driven past a Tesla supercharger station and turned British racing green with envy must be feeling pretty good right now. Ford and General Motors announced they had cut deals granting them access to Tesla's North American charging system, which is being incorporated into a new industry, wide standard for electric vehicle charging. Compared with most public charging networks, which use slower level 2 chargers, Tesla's NACICS system is lickety split fast and offers some 20,000 plugs at nearly 1,800 stations in the United States alone. Nice introducing statement, no doubt. This was an introductory statement of this article on the Business Treader website, following a long article about NACS and Musk's reasoning. So what does that mean for all of us and the rest of the people in this industry? Today we will delve into this topic again since there are a lot of concerns out there and many of you ask this question more often than any other. What does this mean for me? The big question, isn't it? As we all know, electric vehicles are rapidly becoming the future of transportation, and with the rise in popularity of electric vehicles, the need for a robust charging infrastructure has become paramount. Tesla, the pioneer in the electric vehicle market, has long held the advantage with its extensive supercharger network, offering fast and reliable charging to its own vehicles. However, in a surprising move, Tesla has decided to open its supercharger stations to other automakers like Ford and General Motor Companies. This decision has raised eyebrows and sparked speculation about the motives behind this strategic shift. In this article, we will explore the reasons behind Tesla's decision, the potential implications for the industry, and the future of electric vehicle charging. The need for a standardized charging infrastructure has been on the rise in the past several years. One of the key challenges facing the electric vehicle industry is the lack of standardized charging infrastructure. Different automakers have developed their own charging systems, leading to a fragmented network that can be confusing and inconvenient for electric vehicle owners. Tesla, on the other hand, has a well-established and widely recognized supercharger network, offering fast charging speeds and seamless user experience. By opening its supercharger stations to other automakers, Tesla aims to contribute to the development of a standardized charging infrastructure that benefits the entire industry. The power of data. That is the next war in the electric vehicle industry. While the decision to open its supercharger stations may seem altruistic, there may be more to it than meets the eye. Tesla's supercharger stations are equipped with data ports, allowing the company to collect valuable information about its vehicles and users. By extending access to other automakers, Tesla can potentially gather data from rival electric vehicles as well. This data can provide insights into battery performance, charging patterns and overall vehicle efficiency, giving Tesla a competitive advantage in the market. Furthermore, the data collected from charging stations can be monetized and sold to third parties, creating a new revenue stream for Tesla. Have you thought about it? Streamlined charging technology, is it? Another reason behind Tesla's decision to open its supercharger stations is the superior charging technology it has developed. Traditional charging systems, known as Level 2 chargers, are slower and less efficient compared to Tesla's supercharger network. Tesla's charging system, known as the North American Charging System, offers faster charging speeds and a more streamlined user experience. By incorporating Tesla's charging technology into a new industry-wide standard, other automakers can benefit from faster charging speeds and a more user-friendly interface. But how reliable is it for other automakers? There was still not enough testing and data on the reliability and compatibility of Tesla superchargers with other automakers. So why the rush? While the move to open supercharger stations may seem like a step towards cooperation and collaboration, there are concerns about the potential for a Tesla monopoly in the charging infrastructure market. This was mentioned more than once. Tesla already has a significant head start with its extensive supercharger network, and by allowing other automakers to use its charging stations, Tesla could further solidify its dominance in the industry. This could potentially limit competition and hinder the development of alternative charging solutions. Regulators and industry stakeholders will need to closely monitor the situation to ensure a level playing field for all players in the electric vehicle market. So what are the implications for the electric vehicle industry? The decision by Tesla to open its supercharger stations to other automakers has significant implications. Firstly, it accelerates the development of standardized charging infrastructure, 
making it easier and more convenient for electric vehicle owners to charge their vehicles. This increased accessibility could help alleviate range anxiety, a major concern for potential electric vehicle buyers. Secondly, it promotes interoperability between different electric vehicle models, allowing drivers to use any charging station regardless of the make of their vehicle. This interoperability will be crucial as the electric vehicle market continues to grow and more automakers enter the space. But, while the opening of supercharger stations to other automakers is a step in the right direction, there are challenges that need to be addressed. One of the key challenges is the interoperability of different charging networks. Currently, each automaker has its own proprietary charging system, making it difficult for electric vehicle owners to use charging stations from other manufacturers. The development of a standardized charging interface, similar to Tesla's NACS, could help overcome this challenge and ensure compatibility between different electric vehicle models. Another challenge is the scalability of the charging infrastructure. As the number of electric vehicles on the road continues to increase, there will be a growing demand for charging stations. It will be crucial for automakers, charging infrastructure providers, and governments to collaborate and invest in the expansion of the charging network. This will require significant investment in new charging stations, grid infrastructure upgrades, and smart charging solutions to manage peak demand. The opening of Tesla's supercharger stations to other automakers marks a significant milestone in the evolution of electric vehicle charging. It signals a shift towards collaboration and standardization, which will benefit electric vehicle owners and the industry as a whole. As automakers continue to invest in electric vehicles and expand their electric vehicle offerings, the need for a robust and interoperable charging infrastructure will become even more critical. But for who benefits the most? Does the electric vehicle driver care about this? I would say, no. This comes more as a concern to other electrical vehicle service providers. Should all go just one hand? Looking ahead, we can expect to see increased cooperation among automakers, charging infrastructure providers, and governments to build a comprehensive and efficient charging network. This collaboration will involve the development of standardized charging interfaces, the expansion of charging station networks, and the implementation of smart charging solutions to optimize grid utilization. With a standardized and interoperable charging infrastructure in place, the electric vehicle market will be better positioned for mass adoption and continued growth. Last thought, Tesla's decision to open its supercharger stations to other automakers is a game-changer for the electric vehicle industry. It promotes collaboration, standardization, and interoperability, addressing key challenges and accelerating the adoption of electric vehicles. While there are concerns about the potential for a Tesla monopoly, the overall benefits of a standardized charging infrastructure outweigh the risks. As the industry continues to evolve, stakeholders must work together to ensure a level playing field and foster innovation in electric vehicle charging. With a robust and accessible charging network, the future of electric mobility looks brighter than ever with some concern. I will leave you at this. Think about it and give us your feedback. We like to know about your opinions, concerns and problems that you may see but no one else does. So bring them to the light and let us delve into the issues you would like to get some information about. We are here for you and we are your voice. Stay cool and safe in these recorded heatwaves and until the next time. That would be all for today's episode. Thank you for tuning in and listening and don't forget to subscribe.